Hi guys, we are here in Hungary with Balázs and we would like to share with you a little bit about uh, the, the new board which was introduced last year. Uh, some details because it took really a time for Balázs to understand all the function, but uh, here we try to give a summary. Balázs, please. So, here's the, the new all-in-one board. Uh, we have the TNC, we have the driver for the motor, we have the BNO for the gyro and the IMU. Uh, we have a single uh, GPS unit, these two is uh, in combination with two GPS units, which is optional here. You don't need the built-in uh, IMU. We have a couple let's, of... Let's help you a little bit. That, uh, no, the TNC, actually this is a little computer, which uh, has all the calculation and, and stuff and communicate with the computer uh, running the open GPS. The, the BNO actually is a sensor about rotation and a different kind of movement. Actually, it, it, uh, it's able to handle nine, nine uh, angles. Excels. We are using three or four, I think. Yeah, but it's very quick. That is the advantage. So BNO is going to be the only uh, sensor we are going to use. Uh, uh, you can see here that uh, CMP uh, S14 there was also an option, but it's going to be cancelled because the refresh rate is much less for that one. Uh, and and with the, this is uh, how we are moving, and the GPS uh, tells us uh, where we are exactly, centimeter size. If you have two of it, two uh, RTK GPS, then uh, from the difference, you know exactly how you are moving also. A little known fact, but this GPS can do actually millimeter precision. We are only using centimeter precision, but this guy can do millimeter precision, which is way, way, way overkill for our application. And uh, to make it easier to install it in the tractor, uh, you will need a few Wego cables, uh, uh, fuse, fuse, the arm seal uh, with the wiring harness. We need to give uh, 12 volts uh, to the board. We are uh, using a switch, uh, but you can use a button for the uh, start pause uh, of the auto steer, so you don't need to touch the tablet. And then we have a 3D printed solution for the uh, VLANGO sensor that uh, you can just easily click together and mounts on your uh, system. Uh, seven meters of cable for this is plenty. Two and a half meter cable for the motor that uh, you can attach. And uh, this is like a half a meter. It should be enough to hide it under the dash. And one more thing that we don't have just, to Just use. a moment here. Uh, this is actually a test because you see the isolation is not automotive grade. It's rather for inside something this uh, sensor uh, but this is just only 10 uh, 10 euros so about seven times cheaper than uh, anything else anything else uh, so we are really curious how long we can use it on a tractor in the mud uh, it might work really well maybe we need some extra isolation we don't know yet uh, the, it, if it, it works we are happy if we need to replace it every year Still not a problem. That's very good. If you need to replace uh, in some special case. Every, every week, every month, uh, we need something else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, one extra thing that you need if you are ordering yourself. So the TNC has an uh, Ethernet header. You need to have that header, the connect connection pins. You need to order a bunch of these pins. Uh, you need some jumpers. Uh, that I have it uh, with yellow and uh, you should uh, order a 30 centimeter uh, 90 degree extender if you look at the this size like this is the the antenna so it needs to start 90 degrees with this guy and then exit uh, at the front of the, the box. box and for the box you can 3d print but uh, if you have some store next to you, uh, 28 by 19 by 9 centimeter box looks like this. And we should totally be able to hide this whole thing inside. Could be very good proof of concept. It, it, has, a, it has a lid. It costs, uh, what, two and a half euro. Yeah, it's very little. Let's talk a little about the function of this board, which is not, not, not all, uh, everywhere stated. Uh, 
Uh, did we mention about the board that uh, you don't need to assemble both sides? Uh, yeah. So if you are ordering a board for yourself, there's uh, always a confusion about uh, should I assemble just the top or do I want to assemble both sides? Actually, the bottom side is to through whole components where you can manually assemble it. The top side, if you can see here, let's look at just this small part. You see the small resistors here. All those small things if I turn it around same resistors on the other side so this is easier to do by hand this can be done by machine so if you order order it like this super easy to do so if you miss some uh, component and you don't know how to use it you can very easily just leave it out from GRPCB and then do it yourself on the back side correct or right, use the guide on the back side and do it either on the front or the back, it's up to you. Okay, then also an option. I've seen a, a lot of guys ordering these and they were missing the SMD uh, mm, capacitor. capacitor. Uh, this is just a 1000 farad uh, capacitor. 25 volt is more than t uh, the 14, 15 that it will ever see, so it's an overkill. If you are missing this, you can put two here, That's which it. will be a bit taller, a bit different. So feel free to, to replace that. I also seen a lot of boards missing these connectors. So mm, China doesn't have the eight pin connector. You have to order two four pins together. It's often not on stock, so you need to look for a replacement. But honestly, when you are looking at this, it doesn't matter who's making it. Yeah. It's going to be the same uh, distance for holes. Another. Uh, and what do you do in the in the five the pick and place? So instead of eight, you have to change also the pick and place five. No, no. The the pick and place has four. Like he has a lot of uh, four uh, pin connectors. The problem is that uh, they are not on stock. Okay. So there's the chip shortage. They are not on stock. Uh, this uh, chip okay, another I, was, function. I was never able to find, so this is the only chip I had to buy separately. This because is the this CMY. Jobs, chip, what does it do? This is for the speed sensor, so you can totally live uh, without it. Uh, but This is a signal for, for any kind of machine, like sprayer or uh, any kind of sprayer. Uh, for giving out the speed uh, sign, so every tick means uh, one meter or something like that. And the, the signal can come out right in the board, and you also have the uh, the pins uh, out uh, on the main. I didn't bring connector. the pin out, but uh, two like we have 23 pins. It's plenty, plenty. So it's 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 drive it out there. It's a very nice function. Uh, if you look at the price of this circuit, it's like two dollars, three dollars. If you look at the price uh, for the cable. And from the rear of your sprayer to the control box, just the cable. 100 euro. Just the, uh, 100 euro. Plus yeah. the electronic things like that. So this guy from the GPS can tell you really precise. And as we are doing centimeter accurate uh, GPS, that means it really moves like, uh, like an analog uh, speed signal. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, about the voltages. Here in the main uh, cord, uh, we have the uh, the 12 volts. This is absolutely needed because 12 volts is uh, the supply for the board, the TNC, uh, the, uh, the the not GPS. For the so the 12 volts comes in, and we have two, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, two, it, uh, two voltage uh, transformers or regulators. I'm not sure what's the proper term. Uh, one uh, controls the TNC. And the other one, as we can see there, uh, TNC and the IMU. Mm -hmm. uh, so these two guys. And the other one is just for uh, these two guys. And uh, the, the, the VLAN go sensor is also requiring 5 volts. Okay. So that's the 5 volt uh, circuit. The motor driver can actually work between 6 and 30 volts. To accommodate for that, you need to choose either the 12 volt input or the 24 volt input by putting a patch of soldier here. 
I've seen uh, some. If you don't solder that one, doesn't get uh, the motor. Uh, yep, there won't be at all. Won't be any power sign. Once the power sign is on, you can press this and this button. So two buttons to to turn the motor uh, yep. in one direction, another one. We have the dogs coming <laughs> again, and then uh, here you can do the 24 volt input, solder this, and then you are good. Or you can uh, have this connector. It comes with the Citron. Put that connector on here and right power on directly. Input and uh don't do no it. soldering it's uh it's up to you can you take out this one the motor driver i can try i'm not quite sure yep. okay show the other side so you have to uh, uh soldier so, uh, soldier weld here the this uh actually it's eight pin why, why is it eight pin because uh, it can do like 30 volts, 30 amperes, something that's like pretty overkill. And when you try to push 30 amperes through this, I guess okay. you need that. You need more. But then, how do you, you don't connect? And you have you need a cable to connect that no, side. No, no, no. No, it's, it's, it's also still. soldered. That that is a tricky one. So you are using at the the very edge. You can see it here. Mm -hmm. so this is how the edge looks. So this is not not something uh, uh, official way to solder, is it? It is the official. It way is, but but it's on the edge, not not a hole. But uh, you have to solder it's, to it's the on, edge. It's on the edge, and then it it pops back in. Uh, one more thing that uh, is missing on this board, and I guess it's always going to miss. If you have a Danfoss valve, then you probably don't need this guy, right? So because this is only for the motor. But for Genfos, you need this TLC081 whatever chip. That's mm -hmm. like $25. Uh, okay. So. But you, anyway, if you buy Genfos, which is so a 1,000 euro, it's not a, not this a big is, cost. <laughs> this, is, this is 18 uh, dollars, or 18 euros. This is 20 dollars. So. You need just one. You need just one. We decided to go with this. Leave that out. If you need it, you pop it in. Danfoss is the hydraulic uh, steering, and but, the, but the most common hydraulic steering is uh, coming from Baraki, from Czech, uh, from uh, Poland, and for that you need uh, this driver. This driver with the fat uh, to to enable it. Like there's the steering uh, enable pin, and uh, when you enable that, the hydraulic uh, steering is going to be activated. If this is uh, not on or disabled that rally is off, that means the hydraulic valve is totally bypassed. There's no change. When you enable this, we divert the oil flow, so the hydraulic valve can actually control the steering left to right using this. If you uh, have some uh, worry, then on this output you can add an extra switch. You switch that off, no uh, electricity goes to the uh, hydraulic valve, and then it will be shut off. In the motor, we have the the motor holder by Brick Brick that you can uh, disengage. Uh, you can put a picture about that. How can you yep. disengage that? So there is a physical way to to disable all these things. And here we you have if you don't trust the, the electronics. You don't trust the the social. You need electric. extra emergency switch. That's it. So that's we highly right. recommend. Uh, to, to connect the driving switch through this uh, connector and then when it's off then for sure you uh, you are not uh, your tractor is not uh, uh, steered by the hydraulic valves or the motor or anything okay. so it, there can be multiple ways this is disable also the disabling the motor no no that's, that's this is this is just an extra pin to 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 activate the the oil flow so you have the there's there's like Two, uh, there's a, an input from the pump that goes to the tank, to the valve, and then there's the two uh, left and right uh, cable coming into that valve, and left and right goes to the hydraulic uh, uh, valve. So when you activate this uh, lock pin, Basically, what we are telling that we would like to divert that uh, flow that goes in 
to be controlled based on the pump and uh, tank uh, flow so then we can we can take control if you disable that it just goes straight uh, through that's what uh, Boraki said that there could be a cheaper uh, easier solution for the hydraulic steering but uh, that's not as safe as, as this one if this one is disabled everything goes back to default the oil goes uh, straight through and uh, no steering and on the on the board you have an amp meter so if you move the steer by hand it uh, can disable the auto steer and on the hydraulic system if you move the steering wheel we have a pressure sensor to disable it so there's like three four different mechanism uh, to to get rid of the the auto steer if, if something goes wrong uh, let's not worry about this too much it's not a tesla it's not driving 100 kilometers <laughs> down on the on the highway the the only harm it can do is in the crops you're not using this next to people and maximum speed is what 10 15 kilometer per hour yeah yeah just just came to my mind i mean uh, came to my ear that you have here the, the measure which measures the uh, uh, the ampere of the steering motor yep. there's uh, that is a circuit that in integrated that is it integrated somewhere you know somewhere. which is I don't, somewhere is integrated. I, I, I don't know which one is that so, so according to what what force your motor and, and tractor need you have to, you can uh, uh, you can set this threshold yep. and if the force is over because you hold very strong you are steering actually against uh, the motor then it's disengaged yep. and you are back then, then the then the steering is off, and uh, you are on your own to driving the tractor. The 12 volt motor that the French guys are using, I had to increase that number all the way to 90, 95 percent. So that 12 volt motor is really at its limit uh -huh. when it uh, when it starts. The 24 uh, volt fidget motor that the others are using. Uh, I think you can set that to 30, 50 percent. So the 24 volt motor is way overkill. The 12 volt motor that the, that we found that's uh, cheaper, easier to to achieve. That's uh, at its limit. Okay. Anything else come to your mind about the board? No. Nope. Thank you so much I for your, uh, for watching us. I bye hope bye. Hope you find this helpful.